Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at Ron Washington a little bit more. We've already thrown up some videos about him. Um, if you guys don't know who Ron Washington is, he was a big league manager for a long time. Uh, big league coach. He's an infield guy, really knowledgeable. Obviously been around the game for a super long time, worked with a lot of successful infielders. Um, I agree with a lot of what he has to say and his defensive philosophy. So check him out if you've not checked him out so far. Super passionate, hard worker. He's just, he's just a good, good dude to watch. Um, and so what we're doing here, we've already kind of talked about his, uh, some of his philosophies, some of his routines. This is just another part of his routine. And so it's important, you know, I'll play this through as I talk here for a minute. When you're building routines, you know, practice routines are super important. And so hitters, uh, baseball players usually focus on hitting routines, right? We're going to work on the tee. We're going to do some drills off the tee. We're going to work back to some soft toss and some flips and some BP and maybe some pitching machines and then, uh, you know, then game. Fielding a lot of times gets neglected as far as routines are concerned, but they're just as important. So it's important to work up and build up, right? You don't want to just go right into live ground balls or go right into the game, which was even worse, right? And so what Ron Washington's really good at is he has this routine um, that he uses, and he start, you know, in our other videos, it kind of shows how he starts, you know, on his, the fielder starts on their knees, they work on balls at them to the left, to the right, um, they go with a flat glove, um, they go, now then they move back and they go fungos. They do this right here where they're going short fungos. Then they'll move back even more. Um, and so they're progressively moving back and getting closer and closer to game-like ground balls. But this is the time where they're building in a lot of the good habits, right? So you're able to really focus on exactly what you're trying to do here. You can focus on your glove action, right, especially when you're on your knees. And when you're here, you can start to really, you know, you don't have to put the footwork in yet. You can work on the glove action. Then you push back, you work on the footwork. You kind of piece everything together. You don't just go right to fielding live ground balls, right? You know? Um, and so what I want to show here, other than the fact that Ron Washington is a wizard with the fungo and the guy can hit, you know, 8,000 short hop ground balls or just in between hop ground balls in a row, no biggie. Um, but we want to talk a little bit again we talked last video. If you already saw that video, you kind of know what I'm going to talk about in this one a little bit. But it's working through the ball, okay? And I get a lot of questions on why does Ron Washington always teach to work through the ball, and we talk a lot about funneling. Well, the truth of the matter is you have to be able to do both. Um, all good infielders, to me, will funnel regular ground balls. Mostly, you know, they'll do it mostly on short hops and then on long hops. It's this in-between one that you'll see guys push through the ball, okay? So let's talk about the reason for doing so. So you can get three type of hops. You can get the short hop, which bounces right in front of your glove. You can get the long hop, which bounces out here so you can see that hop, right? It's really easy to see it. It's farther enough away from your glove that you can really see the hop. And then you can get the in-between hop, which is bouncing right about there, in between the short and the long, okay? That's the most difficult one. The short hop is easy. This one's easy because the ball's only bouncing an inch or so in front of your glove. It's not going anywhere, right? You field the ball quickly, and you've got it. The one out here is easy because you can see, again, that long hop. You can see the hop really well. The in-between hop is really tough because there's not enough distance to see it. And it's not close enough to your glove that it's going to go right in there. And so it's just a difficult one to get, okay? And so what you want to do, you're always trying to get the short hop with the long hop. You're trying to move your feet and position your body so that you can get it. You're either going to step up, you're going to back up, you're going to go faster towards the ball, you're going to slow down, right? You're going to basically change the way you approach the ball to field it, okay? So you can try to get the short hop or the long hop. The other thing you're going to do a little bit differently is you're going to work your glove a little differently. So you're going to try, on a sh on an in-between hop, you're going to try to work through the ball a little bit more. I call it pinching the ball. We're trying to create a short hop. We're trying to shorten the distance between the hop and your glove. All right, We're trying to shorten that distance. So we're going to use our feet 
to help us, and our glove. Now, obviously, in this case, they're, they're, he's not using his feet. His feet are just standing still. So he's going to work to push through the short hop or the, the in-between hop to create the short hop. So he's trying to get it off the ground. Here's his glove, and he's trying to catch it there. Okay? So he shrunk the distance. He shortened the distance between the ball and his glove to get it off the ground. So that's the idea of working through the ball. Like a lot of people will email me and stuff and say, Ron Washington teaches to push through everything. Well, I don't think that's true because in a lot of his hand stuff that he does, he's always hitting these in-between hops, and he makes them work through it, okay? But then when he hits routine ground balls, they feel the ball, they bring it to the middle of the body because it's a routine ground ball. It's either on the ground or it's a long hop or sometimes it's a short hop. You can just catch the ball, bring it to the middle of your body, funnel the ball in, okay? So you've got to be able to do both. You've got to be able to work on both. So when we do our routines and stuff, you know, I'm not as much of a wizard as Ron Washington is here, and he can hit every ball exactly in a in between hop. That's pretty impressive. Um, but what we do is we work on you know regular ground balls right on the ground. Then we'll work on some in between hops. We got to work through the sh- the in between hop to create the short hop. All right. So you've got to be able to do both. If you can only do one or the other, there's going to be certain balls that come up in a game that you're going to say. I've never gotten that ball before, right? And it's difficult. You don't know what to do. But if you work on every single ball, well, then when you get in the game, you've, you've already been there. You've already done it a bunch of times, right? So then your instincts can take over, and you'll make the play. All right? Same thing on the backhand here. So here's his glove. The ball's bouncing here. His glove's back here. He needs to shorten the distance, so he pushes through the ball. He's in line, and he pushes through. He, sh- he shortens the distance, okay? So that's... That's the idea. So go and check out our other videos if you haven't seen those ones yet because we go more in depth on exactly the mechanics of pushing through the ball and what you want to do. Um, but this one I wanted to just kind of talk about a progression series and, again, a little bit on why you want to push through the in-between hop to create that short hop, get it off the ground quickly. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff in there that I think you guys will enjoy. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.